Every season, we see new faces emerge across the NFL, especially at the wide receiver position. With the top talent always changing and teams looking for that next guy, we at home are also looking for that breakout star in our fantasy football leagues. There's no better feeling than drafting a guy who becomes a stud throughout the season. And I'm here today to tell you about one player who is primed to have a breakout season at the wide receiver position and why you need to take him in this year's fantasy football draft. This player is going into his second official season, but was forced to sit out his rookie year due to an injury. Despite major setbacks with foot surgery last year and having a contingental spine fusion before the NFL draft, the Chiefs decided to pick him up as a free agent after the draft. Standing at 6'4", he is a high ball threat and he's already working into first team reps during camp and has got compliments from Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid who are both guys if you get compliments from that you know this guy is a dog. Through the roof, I think anybody can see that. And I think he's gotten better and better. And even though he wasn't active all year long, he was in the building and he was able to see the guys and how we do things and listening and being in some of the meetings and stuff like that. And so I'm excited for him, man, to get out there and be able to get the reps and practice and get the little fine details that we like to do in this offense. Like I said, the talent's there, he works his tail off. I'm, I'm like, man, you gotta ease up a little bit. He wants to run, run every route a hundred times, but uh, you rather have to ease up on the guy Make him kind of ease up on himself, but you know he wants to work and to be the best player that he could possibly be. Getting compliments from the best quarterback and best player in the NFL is always a good thing. And as you heard from his quarterback, you would rather have to tell a guy to slow down than have to motivate him. And this guy is trying to go out there and give 110% every single time because he feels like he still owes something and needs to prove something. Going undrafted and then getting picked up by such a great team with a team that has been in the championship if not winning it the past five years this guy is going to go out there and make a huge impact for this team so if you guys haven't figured out yet i am talking about justin ross and a lot of you guys have probably heard his name as he was mocked as a first or second round guy just a few years ago but then obviously had that injury that he had to get fixed but why should you take Justin Ross this season? An undrafted guy with an injury history would be enough for a lot of people to click off this video already, but let me explain to you why he's going to break out this season. So first off, we have to talk about the spine injury. This wasn't a normal injury as he just thought he had a stinger at the time, but they told him that he had a contingental fusion in his spine, a condition he was born with, which is Kleipofield syndrome, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but he had stingers in the past and he thought that this was just a normal thing. A lot of football players get these injuries and these little stingers, especially in the neck area, getting hit so many times. But when the scans came back, they found this out. So he had to go back and get surgery and he was told he may never play football again, but he went back and he grinded and he came back healthy going into his rookie season. He was ready for a big year his injury that he needed corrected going into his rookie season why he couldn't play the year was to get his foot surgery recorrected after apparently there was still some injuries lingering after his surgery that he had at Clemson so they went back in and fixed his foot injury and now it's a hundred percent and he is completely fine so if we look at these injuries yes a foot injury is very common for receivers so that might be something you have to look out for but if he can stay healthy besides that, the spinal injury, something he was born with that he just didn't know. So I would not hold that against him. Though the foot injury is very common in the NFL, especially with all these turfs, fields, and ACLs too. But he doesn't have a very deep history of injuries if you look past that. I'm not going to count him out for a spinal injury he was born with. And the foot injury is very common. So let's look at why he's going to break out if he has a completely healthy season this year. Looking at his stats from college, his first two seasons, 1,800 plus yards and 17 touchdowns with 500 yards and three touchdowns in his third season before getting shut down due to that foot injury that we talked about earlier. He did play with Trevor Lawrence, now he'll play with Patrick Mahomes, so he's still keeping that high level of quarterback, and he's going to have great production this year after the Chiefs have lost receivers like Juju Smith-Schuster and McCole Hardman. 
specifically too, after losing those two receivers, the Chiefs wide receiver room is good but there's a lot of guys who are kind of at that average to good level if we look at guys like sky Moore, Kadarius tony marquez valdez scantling richie james Rashi rice who they drafted justin watson there's a lot of guys that could break out but there's a lot of question marks too and with guys like sky Moore, Kadarius tony richie james Rashi rice those are a lot smaller faster receivers so justin ross will be able to go in there and kind of play like the guy like marquez valdez scantling who's out there too who are both big body receivers and Patrick Mahomes is going to look for guys like that. The Chiefs have a good mix of big and smaller guys who give you different things and Justin Ross is that perfect big deep ball threat that Patrick Mahomes is going to look for like a guy like Travis Kelsey who's obviously a lot bigger than him but we've seen how good Patrick Mahomes can be when he has a big receiver out there that he can target the ball to. The biggest sign that he is going to be good this year is that he's already getting first team reps and like patrick mahomes said this guy is a very hard worker and he's going to give you 110 percent every time he's on the field and he's competing with guys who started last year Kadarius tony got there halfway through the season after getting traded but the chiefs have big hopes for him marquez valdez scantling obviously in green bay a starter richie james had a lot of snaps last year with the giants and if he's already getting these first team reps and essentially his red shirt sophomore year his second year in the NFL after not playing the first year and we're only at the start of camp this could be a very good sign for him and he's also working on special team snaps which will be huge for him too as he can show his versatility and go out there if he gets a lot of good special team snaps returning puns returning kicks whatever he does that will help his stock on the offensive end too as he can prove that he is a playmaker for this team. Now a lot can change from now to the start of the season, but this is a great start from Justin Ross and the hype train is growing. So hopefully if you guys can get him in a later round, I would suggest getting him as he can be a difference maker this year for you.